Hello there, Lake County Library. This is Christy Lewis from the Lakeport branch. And today I have a book haul of new books for you. We've got some nonfiction. We've got some historical fiction. We have some short stories and we have a romance novel. Hopefully something for everybody. And if you would like to order any of these, you can get them for free down below. We also have ebook copies and audiobook copies for free of most of these. As long as you have your library card, you could just press the link to our catalog down below and order them. Without further ado, here we go. First, we have The Eagle's Claw, a novel of the Battle of Midway. This is by Jeff Shara. And if you're not aware, like I wasn't, apparently the Battle of Midway was a big battle in World War II. Very important, interesting battle. Lots of heroism involved. So this historical fiction novel is told from both the American point of view and the Japanese point of view from multiple levels of power within the military. If you know what I mean? We have a fighter, we've got leaders, we've got strategists. And the conflict is described as a chess game that is played in the sea and in the air. And this author is actually a New York Times bestselling author, and he wrote a book that's set just previous to this battle, apparently, called To Wake the Giant. So that's a slightly different part of World War II history than this specific battle. So it sounds like he's going to have lots of close details about this battle. So if you're interested in battle strategy, military strategy, it's actually pretty interesting stuff. What I'm thinking is it's maybe kind of like that movie Dunkirk, but the Battle of Midway instead. The Eagle's Claw was published in 2021 by Ballantine Books, and it is available on ebook and audiobook. Next, we have First Person singular stories by Haruki Murakami. Now this is a book of short stories by the author who's really famously known as having written all of these books. Uh, he, he's pretty famous. Apparently he's well known enough to have a classic Murakami twist. Now this has eight short stories in them and what I really like about short stories is if you're a slow reader like Moi. You could sit down and, and read a short story in one sitting and have kind of a feel for the author's style or at least what they can do because a lot of times short stories can show off various sides of an author's style and their capabilities. This sounds really cool if you've never read Haruki Murakami before. This might be a good way to check him out. Listen to the quotes of the people who are describing us, the, the reviewers. Occasionally, a narrator may or may not be Murakami himself. Is it memoir or fiction? The reader decides. So it's very interactive in that way. And, and Elizabeth, this is great. Some novelists hold up a mirror to the world. And some, like Haruki Murakami, use the mirror as a portal to a universe hidden beyond it. That's from the Wall Street Journal. I really love that quote. So if this sounds interesting to you, you can order it for free down below. It is available on ebook and audiobook. First Person Singular was published by Knopf in 2021. Next, we have what happened to you? Conversations on trauma, resilience, and healing. This is a conversation between Oprah Winfrey and a trauma specialist named Bruce D. Perry. So this book is aiming at helping people who experienced trauma as young people kind of ask themselves instead of, why do I act this way? Why can't I control myself? Rather, asking, it, rather it's having them ask, what happened to me? helping them explore the trauma, kind of overcome it. And apparently this is a technique that has really helped people. It's kind of a proven technique for helping people with their trauma in the past. So if that sounds interesting to you, you can order for free down below. It is available as an ebook, an audiobook, or a book on CD. What Happened to You was published in 2021 by Flatiron Books. Next, we have Facing the Mountain, a true story of Japanese American heroes in World War II by Daniel James Brown. Now this is the author of The Boys in the Boat, which if you haven't heard of that one, I think it was one of our library's big reads, wasn't it? Anyways, I know that everybody and their mom except me has read The Boys in the Boat, so just based on that, you might want to pick it up. This, however, is a nonfiction book about four Japanese American soldiers who went to war. They're sent all over Europe during World War II while their parents were put into concentration camps on U.S. soil. So it follows their families, it follows them, and it also follows people who were in court uh, trying to fight for the rights of Japanese Americans, maybe not to be put into concentration camps. So it sounds like very serious subject matter well explored. Listen to this quote. Whether fighting on battlefields or in courtrooms, these were Americans under unprecedented strain, doing what Americans do best, striving, resisting, pushing back, rising up, standing on principle, laying down their lives, and enduring. That quote is really good. <laughs> Facing the Mountain was published by Viking in 2021, and it is available on ebook, audiobook, audio CD, and in large type, so you can get it 
in for free in any of those or in like a regular format down below. And finally, we have the romance. You'll probably need it after all of those heavy books. This one is called Love for Beginners. And this is actually book seven in the Wildstone series, which it doesn't sound like this is a series where you have to read the books in order, which is cool. So if any of these books sound fun to you, like each one has a different heroine, you can just pick the one that sounds fun. And if you like it, then you can just go ahead and try some more of them because the author has written a lot of them. So that's kind of nice about series like this one. So this particular book follows Emma Harris, who is a woman who has just woken from a coma. This sounds like straight from a Korean drama. I've been really enjoying Korean dramas lately. Now her fiance and her BFF have just fallen in love. She has lost her job uh, and the world that she knew before her coma has disappeared. So she's pretty much starting everything new. She's in rehab after waking up from her coma. Obviously she's gonna have some rehabilitation to do and things are, are not easy for her at this point because her physical therapist, while extremely handsome, really puts her through the ringer in physical therapy. It's not the easiest thing for her. And then she's trying to restart a business when she gets out there, a doggy daycare. Unfortunately, the only building available for her to run her business from is owned by her previous nemesis. So she's gonna be having to work in close contact with her previous nemesis. And to top it all off, her friend needs her to babysit grandpa. <laughs> and where one grandpa comes, others follow. And where one grandparent comes, other grandparents follow. So it sounds like she's running a daycare for more than just dogs at this point. But she discovers through this book that life is what you make it, not what's given to you. So that's, that is the synopsis of the book. If that sounds like a fun, lighthearted read that you might want to pick up, you can do that down below. It sounds like a, a romance dramedy sort. You can pick up Love for Beginners on ebook or audiobook or audio CD for free down below. And Love for Beginner was published by William Morrow Paperbacks in 2021. That is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about these books. I hope that you find your next read soon through the library. Let us know down below if you have any questions, if you have a favorite genre, if you pick up one of these books, we love to hear from you. Make sure that you subscribe if you enjoy hearing about our new releases and hit that notifications bell if you want to be notified anytime we publish a video and like this video as well. Take care guys, until next time, bye-bye.